Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about these brand new lipsticks here from Dior. These are the Ultra Care lipsticks. But before we go any further in the video, let's go ahead and grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. I picked up a couple shades, so I'm gonna go ahead and read off the description, give you guys the price point, do some swatches and demos, and give you guys my thoughts on these lipsticks. So the first thing is that the boxes that it comes in are beautiful because it has like the classic dark navy Dior box color. It has the silver, but it also has the red top here. It kind of reminds me of the Louboutin high heels that have like the red bottom. This has the red top up here. I got two shades. I got the shade called number 750 Blossom and the shade 999 Bloom. Now, a lot of you know that 999 is like the iconic classic Dior red. I have the same shade in a different formula. What can I say? I just really enjoy red lipstick. The bullet, like the tube itself of the lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. If you are someone who enjoys packaging, I think, you know, when you get into luxury makeup, a lot of what you enjoy is not just the product itself, but the extra packaging that comes with. It has this beautiful, gorgeous red color that matches the top of the tube here. It seems to be identical. And then the top of the lid here has the Christian Dior logo. And then when you actually see the lipstick itself, there's actually like a small CD imprinted in the lipstick and it goes all the way down. It's not just like embossed on the top. It's not like a surface. It's just, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the tube. It is really pretty, but as soon as you swatch it or wear it once, it kind of, you know, kind of smushes together with the rest of the pigment. I mean, what's to be expected? But this is just such a beautiful color. I love red. I mean, imagine taking this out of your purse. It has, you know, it's so stunning. It's so eye-catching. And with this beautiful silver detailing, it's, you know, beautifully executed. So let me go ahead and read off some of the information and claims off of the website here. These retail at 46 Canadian plus tax. I think this is just like the regular price. They didn't, you know, make a special special price for this lipstick here. So this is the Rouge Dior Ultra Care Flower Oil Radiant Lipstick Weightless Wear. Those are a lot of words. Also, this is supposed to last for up to 12 hours. I'm a little bit skeptical. Let's go ahead and read the description. This is Rouge Dior Ultra Care is the first Dior lipstick infused with flower oil. It's inspired by flowers dear to the house of Dior. It comes in a range of soft colors with a luminous pearly matte finish. So the lipstick contains the CD that I mentioned earlier and that CD core that runs all the way through the lipstick is the part that's infused with flower oils. It's influ influs, holy moly, <laughs> infused, wow, with camellia oil and jojoba oil. So it's really supposed to help hydrate your lips and just keep them luminous and hydrated. Now it says here that this lipstick is supposed to last for up to 12 hours and they did, they have like a little asterisk next to that saying that they did a test on 20 women. So I'm highly skeptical about this because although it does have like a little bit of a matte finish, it isn't a matte lipstick per se. It has these oils anyway. I just have some reservations into thinking it'll last for 12 hours. There are very few lipstick that can last for up to 12 hours, and even when they do, they're usually very uncomfortable on the lips, and I honestly don't mind having to reapply. I mean, I don't want to have to reapply every two minutes, but after a meal, if I have to touch up, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't have a career where I have to have my makeup on all day for eight hours without having to do a touch up, so yeah, that's how I feel about it. Let's go ahead and do some swatches here. I'm gonna start with number 750 Blossom. It's really funny because I bought these online and when I was looking at the shades available, I honestly, sincerely tried my absolute hardest to not pick out two red lipsticks. But as you guys can see, I picked out two red lipsticks. I really thought I was gonna pick out like two, like maybe like one nude, one like neutral color. No, I just went for like two of the, the reddest colors I could find. What can I say? I love a red lipstick. So off the bat, these do have a little bit of a smell, like a scent. I really can't 
trace it. It kind of smells like a cosmetic. I don't know if it's the camellia oil and the jojoba oil, but there's a scent. Not like very strong, but there is something there. Okay, so this is 750 Blossom. This feels very, very smooth and creamy. Feels a little bit like a lipstick, but also like um, a lip balm or a chapstick. It doesn't feel waxy, it doesn't feel heavy, it is very weightless. You really don't need to go in with much product to get the color that you want. As you guys saw, this was just like one swipe and a bit of a touch up, but this is the color that you get. So as you can see, once you swatch this and wear this lip color, the CD is no longer stark white, but it still holds up. Like as I mentioned, this core goes all the way down to the bottom, so it's not just a surface um, product, it goes all the way down. So you will still have it as you use it, it just won't be like a stark contrast. It does feel and look a little bit more matte than I expected. Because of the oils in here, I thought that it would be more slick, but it's really quite comfortable and I think just that white core kind of gives it more of a sheen or a shine. It's not like a, it's not a hard matte. It doesn't feel like a, a matte texture. I find that other matte lipsticks usually tend to be a bit waxier or a bit harder. This feels very soft and also very hydrating. This is a beautiful color and yeah, this is very comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include some photos of wear tests around this part in the video and what i'll do is i will put the information in the description box um or in the comment section sorry in the comment section i'll write my notes on the um wear test my um intuition is that this is probably going to do a staining effect so my intuition or suspicion is that this will not hold up perfectly for 12 hours but I think this sort of texture will probably stain the lips. I think if you eat and drink and live your life, it will, you know, wear off. But I think that you will still have some color and I think there's going to be some comfort as well because of the oils. But again, I will put an update in the comment section. So go check for that for any updates. Okay, let's move on to number 999, the classic red. I think they call it... 999 Bloom. These colors are so opaque. There's so much pigment. As you can see, you can just go in like that and really get the color that you want. You, I mean, you can go in to correct, but these are very pigmented. The texture on these is very interesting because they do feel very hydrating more so than a regular matte lipstick but they're also like they're, they feel almost like a lip balm but they're not like too runny because i feel like sometimes some lipsticks that have more of a glossy or balm like texture you're kind of worried that they're going to run a bit all over this one i don't know they did something magical because it feels very hydrating like a lip balm but it's not going to run everywhere I, you know i was worried i'd have to use like a lip liner or you know a brush or something but as you can see you can still do the contour very well you can go in with a lip liner if you want but i don't think you need to i think it's more just like a question of personal preference this is a really beautiful color. I mean, I have number 999 in different incarnations, but it's just such a beautiful color and the texture does feel different than the other formulas that I have. I'm very happy with the shades that I got because I just love a red lipstick. I love, I don't know, I love a red lipstick in any shape or form like matte lipstick, satin lipstick, lip gloss, etc. It's always my favorite. I'm really happy with these two colors. 
I'm really happy with number 750 Blossom. I don't know what kind of red you would describe that as. Is it like a brick red? It's a nice red, but it's not as flashy as this one here. And I love a flashy lip, but I feel like there's a time and a place. And I think number 750 Blossom is great for the fall. I think it's a red you can wear that's a bit less intense than 999. It's just like, you know, your personal preference and what you have going on. It's really up to you. I think these lipsticks are beautiful. I love the packaging. Like again, this is a gorgeous, stunning red. Like it's just so breathtaking. Even when you see it like in store or online, like the display is so eye-catching because it's red. These feel really nice on the lips. They do feel lightweight. They don't feel heavy. They don't feel waxy. And they do have a nice comfort to them. They are a matte finish, but they don't feel super drying. They don't look super matte as well. And I like that they have this like, camellia and jojoba oil infused in here because it does make it more comfortable to wear overall i really like these lipsticks i did go for the reds even though my intention was to get more neutral everyday colors funny how that works sometimes but i really like them i think they are worthwhile i think it could be fun to go test out the colors in store because when i bought these online um it was hard to figure out what the swatches were actually going to be like it's hard to just get sometimes from online shopping so at least you guys have a reference here for these two colors. But there are a lot of beautiful colors to choose from. There are more neutral colors and more pinky shades. So if you're more into those types of colors, you will find something you like. My friend Aniko Vita did a video on the liquid lipsticks. If you guys wanna go check her out, she's amazing, she's wonderful. Um, but she did a video testing out the liquid lipsticks. So if you guys wanna go see those, I highly recommend go checking out her channel and her video because you can see more swatches. I know that they came out with the liquid lipstick formula and the bullet lipstick formula, but I just feel like I'm a little bit over liquid lipsticks. Like I still enjoy liquid lipsticks, but I prefer a bullet lipstick any day of the week. I find they're less drying, they're more comfortable to wear, and I think there's a personal preference. Like I find that a lot of liquid lipsticks Sometimes they're not even that long wearing. Like they're not even like much more long wearing than a regular bullet lipstick. And again, I don't mind having to reapply during the day. So that's why I went with these two just like classic bullet lipstick format because I just prefer this formula. So anyway, again, I'm gonna go ahead and include some photos of wear tests somewhere around here. And the info will be in the comment section of just like updates and how it wears. I have the same suspicion about this same lipstick. I think it'll just like, wear down to a lip stain as the day wears on and i don't think that it'll run too much i mean maybe if you like smear your face but i don't think it's going to run because it does seem to hold its shape very well okay so that about does it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments what you think of these two lipsticks which one was your favorite did you prefer the first one number 750 blossom or this one here 999 bloom which one is your favorite color and also let us know if you're planning on picking up any of these new dior lipsticks i really like them i think Nico really liked the liquid lipsticks so let us know if you're planning on picking up any of these new beautiful lipsticks i think this is all i have for you guys for today so thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time bye